Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back, Brandon again, and you're watching my weekly training recap, and this is part two of my peaking phase. So last week in part one, what we did is four sets of three at 90%, followed by four sets of three at 80%, so a good amount of volume and a good amount of intensity as well. This week is a little bit different. We're severely cutting the volume. The goal is to only work up to a heavy triple, but that being the case, we wanna actually increase the intensity, so something above 90%. So for squats, my goal numbers were 515 for three reps, and this is oddly reminiscent of the previous peaking cycle that I did before my last meet, as this day also called for 515 for three, but I had a little bit of a problem. I wasn't able to even get it up during warmups. And normally they make pills and powders for that, but it just wasn't to be that day and I only ended up getting 515 for a single. So the fact that I had 515 for three, again, this is a little bit of a redemption, but also at the same time, I peed myself a little. I was a little scared, wasn't going to lie, not to mention the previous day I was doing a lot of yard work on my knees. Yard work? Uh, pulling weeds, things of that nature, just doing general homeowner stuff, which is not fun, but it's just not meant for my body. I'm not conditioned to do that type of stuff. It beats the hell out of me. I'm more sore from doing yard work than I am from going to the gym and lifting some mediocre weights. But that being the case, I did get all three reps of 515. Very happy with that, that it went up, got it done. It wasn't too ugly. That last third rep was a little bit slow, I might pass out for a little bit. My breathing really wasn't on point. And that's something I've been trying to work on on all of my squat reps when we're using this heavier weight. You'll notice I take a good amount of time between each rep and that's because I'm really trying to set myself in terms of air and bracing. And overall, it's been going pretty good. Now, one of the other things I also mentioned last week is the fact that I've partnered up with NASM or the National Academy of Sports Medicine. They do certifications if you're interested in doing fitness training and making a living off of your fitness enthusiasm. They're a great certification to have. They're offering a free two week trial through their website, which you can find linked below. So go ahead and check that out if you're interested. Again, one of the nice things about it is they guarantee a job for you within 60 days of completing their course or they'll offer your money back. So that's a pretty good deal if you ask me. Now, as far as the next training day, that was a bench day, 325 for three. And as you can see here by these clips, the first rep for me moved really fast. So this was not really a good pause. And I think a big part of that too is just I was intimidated by the weights with bench. It's one of those things that probably scares me to fail the most only because I hardly ever get a spot. You guys can probably see why that is, but there's not really a lot of people in my gym in most cases and getting a spot for bench is tough for me. I do have the safety bars there just in case. They're a little bit lower though. I can't put them any higher, so they're in a weird spot. So the first rep was a little fast, but I feel a little bit better about the second and third rep here. The pause was a little bit better, more akin to at least to my training cycle. So what I paused during training, those were a little bit better. Third one moved slow, but again, the fact that they went up, that's all I was really concerned about in the end. So speaking of the end, that brings us to the last workout day, which was deadlifts. And for this day, I just wasn't really feeling it mentally. I wasn't amped up as I normally am. Not that I normally get amped up in a physical way that you can see, but I'm usually pretty good about getting my mindset straight. For this day, it just really wasn't there. I don't know if it's I'm just looking forward to getting the meat done and looking to a longer extended training cycle, maybe just because deadlifts in general have been feeling tough the last couple of weeks. I don't know what it was. Talking it over with Garrett Blevins, who you guys I'm sure are more than well aware of. I bounce a lot of stuff off him. I show him a lot of my stuff, ask for feedback. He's a, a great personal friend and a great coach if you're interested in coaching services. Um, we talked about what weights I should really try to attack for this day or what my goal should be. And we decided somewhere between 585 and 595, depending on how things were moving. So during my warm-up progression, 545, which was my last really working set before I decided where to jump to next, it felt pretty heavy, so I decided to go in the middle at 590. And as you can see by these reps, things were moving very, very slow. But I'm okay with that because the fact is that they moved. And again, I'm kind of conditioned myself a little bit better mentally for these peaking cycles because in my mind, I want things to move really fast, I want things to look really great. But in reality, when I look at the actual intensity and percentages I'm using, not to mention my program and how it's been, these things probably shouldn't move too fast because if they're moving really fast, it tells me that my programming probably wasn't on point in terms of the numbers I was using for it. I would have been going too light, whatever. So this is how something this heavy should look for this many reps. So overall, I'm happy with it. Moving forward, the last week of the peaking phase is going to be a deload week. I'll probably take that time to talk about some of my openers, some other things that are just on my mind, because you guys know how I like to share the feels. 
But in the meantime, as always, I hope everyone has a great Memorial Day weekend. If it's nice where you are, cook out, eat a lot of hot dogs, hamburgers, any kind of meat that you like shoving in your mouth, either at a barbecue or otherwise. I'll put that meat in your mouth. I'll put that meat in your mouth. You know you love it when I put that meat in your mouth. Uh. Not judging you. Uh, but as always, thanks for watching and stay big.